Hi everyone, welcome to Lease Stitch. Lease Stitch. Today is Tuesday, 16th of April, which is also my daughter Gwen's 11th birthday. So, time flies, doesn't it? Uh, thank you for coming to watch. Thank you for returning. I've had a big jump in the subscribers, so... Um, I'm pretty sure most of you come from um, Nancy, Bohemian Stitchery. So thank you, Nancy. Although, I don't really try and hide this channel, as she said in her, uh, her, her um, video. So, but yes, thank you all the same. But anyway, so I've got some um, stitching to show you guys. And I've got some uh, tiny bit of haul. Tiny bit of haul. I've only worked on three cross stitches uh, this month, but I've gotten some decent progress, so... Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is one of my favourites. It's called uh, List We Forget. This is, uh, it's the second oldest whip by a couple of weeks. I thought it was my oldest when I started it. This is just how it's going to come my focus piece for this year. It's a Heaven and Earth design. Uh, List We Forget by Bradley Johnson. It's now retired. I'll put a photo up of what it's going to look like when it's done. And what it was last month. And this is what it is this month. I've done so much and it looks so wonderful. Oh, I love it. And the lamp. I've nearly finished like everything in this Q-snap. So I've just got like here and some ninja stitches to do. But wow. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, the aim is that when I finish this piece, I'm going to have a photo of my grandfather in his World War II uniform. And a photo of my husband's grandfather and his World War II uniform is going to be on either side. So it's going to be hung up with that one. So Such a pity it was retired though. Um, and you know, I get it. Heaven and Earth Designs is an American company. But there's just so much American there. There's not a lot of Australian. And I'm sure a lot of other countries feel the same way. Which, you know, I can't. Hey, you know, Heaven Earth Design, it is an American company, what do you expect? But it was nice to have something Australian there. But isn't that just, I love it. So far though, most of the confetti's been all around here. You can see the back. <laughs> you can see where the confetti is around the back, yeah. But. Oh, this is a 25 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. So, that's, yay, it's getting there, it's, it's 28%, I think, it could be 27%, it is 28%, so that's pretty cool, and then, this one is my Heaven and Earth Design Stitch Along, I'm doing Tintern Abbey, which I'll put up a picture of. It's now closed off. Uh, with this one, if you complete two full pages, no, four, sorry, if you complete not, you complete four full pages, and they have to be the actual pages. You can't complete the equal number of stitches that are in that page. So you couldn't do like, do two half pages and say, hey, that's a page. This is where this is now. Uh, this piece is... If I go off Pattern Keeper, it's something like 37%. But that'll only do with the pieces that have been released at the moment. That's not the whole piece. But it's going, it's going to the puppy's back. I don't trust him to sit quietly. So this one's also being stitched on 25 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. Um, so if you get, sorry, I got sidetracked before. If you complete four full pages, you get... The, you had an option of about 10 patterns to choose from. You get the other 10 patterns uh, from the stitch along. And if you complete the whole piece, you get to choose two free patterns from the Heaven and Earth Designs website. I'm aiming for four, but I'll be happy if I even get the four, four done. So, And I'm doing all right on that. I'm doing all right. It's still very doable. This is my... Randy's, which I've got to take the keys off. Uh, so what happened is with this one, I'm doing all of Nora Corbett's Christmas Couriers on the same piece of fabric. 
and because I like working on Q-snaps so what I'm doing is I've stitching them and then I go back and doing the beads so I've when I stitched three reindeers I went back and beaded Rudolph and then I could you know and then I stitch a reindeer go back and bead stitch bead so that way whatever one um the Q-snaps are never touching the, <sighs> the beads so I have finally finished I might just move the needle as well Um, so Rudolph, that's the one that needed Donna, I believe that one is. Um, I went in to start beading it and I didn't have all the treasures or beads. I bought these all off years and years and years, oh, I don't even want to say how many years it's been sitting in a to-do pile. So I was very surprised. I, the idea was that I should have all of them. Like I bought these pre-COVID, so we're talking like 2017. I thought I had everything. I didn't, um, which I'm kind of bummed about, but that's right. So this is the one. So the last of the stuff came yesterday. Uh, I can't get one set of the beads anymore, but I did find them in my stash left over. So I should have enough. Uh, 10032, which is a bright fuchsia. So I should have enough to do those. And there was some, um, I can't get 13005 anymore, which is a treasure shaped like a flower. There's six flowers, so I got was sent one packet. I needed two packets, so what I'm going to do is um, I just got a different color flower, and then the flowers go along here. Well, yeah, you can see where the flowers go. So I'm going to alternate the flowers. I'm just going to have like a red, different color, red, different color, red, different color, and I figure that'll look fine. But I did finish, so let's see one. So. Put a picture up as you remember i was saying i made a mistake i was one stitch out uh, i got very lucky a lady at my cross stitch group thank you shelly she unpicked all my massive mistake so which means i could and the thing is since shelly unpacked i'm like oh my god i have to do it someone unpicked it for me i've got to i've got to do it and not only did i i did work on it i finished it just the beading to go on that one so that's blitzen so thank you shelly so that's, he's looking good. And so then, while I was waiting for the beads to arrive for that one, I just did the border for the next one. A uh, fairly simple border. Always happy when it meets, though. <laughs> so fairly simple border with the, did the back stitch around it so I can do the beading now. But, you know, never hurts to get the border done. <laughs> so that's what it's looking like so far. Oh, 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 I've got, this is stitched on Calicasate Fabrics, Behind Blue Eyes, 28 count even weave opal, but unfortunately Calicasate is no longer in. She doesn't dye fabric anymore, which is a pity because this fabric is gorgeous. I'm going to do the rest of reindeers on this and the slate at the very end. So, <sighs> yay. So that's there, and I really should have put this at the start of the video, but I've also got to say a massive, massive thank you to my friend Amanda. She she saved my butt. Um, I the Hawksby show always enter pieces in, and I always nag ladies at my cross stitch group to enter pieces in. Always I'm, I'm nagging for them to do that, and they did. And went learn lady into hers, and I got all the dates mixed up. Uh, shows on. This coming weekend and I was thinking okay yeah yeah drop the pieces off on Friday no you drop the pieces off the Friday Saturday just gone because you drop them off then and then they judge them throughout the week and then they show them and then I so and like I said it was Gwen's birthday so a part of Gwen's birthday is I took her for a weekend to the city we went for a shopping trip we got the train into the city we went and saw the musical Grease the idea was to do some shopping while we were there as well and we spent the night in the city. So I was in the city all day Saturday. And we spent the night in the city. And on Sunday, my husband and my son caught the train up into the city. And we went and saw the Ramses, the Egyptian Ram Pharaoh Ramses exhibition of the Australian Museum. So I wasn't going to be home on Sunday either. Anyway, um, I got a phone call during the musical Grease, just... Uh, not long towards the end and I thought oh, I'll you know, call this person back when it finishes so about half an hour later I was with in the lobby I called the lady where are your pieces
pieces. Your pieces were due. You haven't dropped them off yet. Oh, crap. Because I was meant to drop off mine, Lysanthus, Kathy's, and Shelley's. And also, I I did the entry for everybody's pieces. And then Amanda, she wasn't going to enter anything. And she's like, oh, I could enter this one. I said, okay, you know, I'll do the entry for you. I forgot to do the entry for her. So and the whole matter wasn't going to go in. But anyway, basically all these people who I nag and to, to, to enter into the show, none of the pieces are into the show. I did all the entries. I wasn't that I didn't drop the pieces off because I got the dates mixed up. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I hadn't actually told Kathy and Judy about it yet. And Vasantha knew because she did her, actually did her own entry. I only had to drop her piece off. So they called her directly. And I'm like, oh, great. And then on Sunday morning, the ho we're in the basement level of the hotel where the car parking was. We're dropping our bags off at the uh, at my sister's car. And so I missed the lady's phone call. And then I'm trying to call her back. And then the Australian Museum um, reception was not great. So I leave everybody else in the Australian Museum. Then I'm exiting the Australian Museum and call her back. And she's like, seeing as you're going to drop off so many people's pieces... We're going to extend the, the deadline for you. You can drop them off today. And I'm like, I'm in the city. I'm in the city all day. Can I drop them off first thing tomorrow morning? Like I said, I would be there 8 a.m., 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, the Hawkesbury show is like literally five-minute drive from my place. Like, no, 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 it has to be today. Uh, and the thing is, all these most of these pieces were already in the boot of my car, like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll give you a call back. And I thought, this is the thing I would usually call and say, Daddy, because my dad's sick, he can't, he lost his license. Anything with the brain, you, you lose your license straight away. And, I mean, he can, like I said, he, he can't drive. My mum needs a knee replacement, um, and she's so busy taking care of my dad. I didn't want to ask her to do something else. And I'm like, and my sister was with me. I'm like, Amanda. Can I please ask for a huge, humongous favour? Please, 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 please. And she goes, what? Can you please drive to my... Now, the thing is, I left my car at my parents' place, which is only about a one-minute drive from my place. Ten-minute walk. This is this. Can you please drive to my place... Sorry, can you please drive to my parents' place, pick up my spare house keys, drive to my place, get my spare car keys, drive back to my parents' place... And get the cross stitch pieces out of the car and take drop them off at the Hawkesbury show for me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I was doing that on the phone because I'm like, I can't remember what she was thinking. But Amanda went above and beyond. She's such an amazing friend. She not only did that because I hadn't picked up, I put in some pieces of mine to be framed. And I wasn't picking them up until I'd agreed to pick them up on Monday. Because in my head I thought, yeah, I've got time to drop them off. And I'm like, oh. and I'd already told the lady, said, oh, I won't be able to get my pieces in. They're still with the framer. I, you know, so I got the dates mixed up. But I'll, if I can get everybody else's in that I nag for them to enter, yes, please, please do them. She's just like, that's fine. So Amanda actually went, drove to Lower Portland, picked up my pieces. And Wendy's about a 40 minute drive or something like that. So she drove to Wendy's place, picked up my framed pieces, took them back. Went to my house, picked up my spare car keys, got Vincent. Vincent's piece was the only piece not in the boot of the car. Sorry, I haven't been well. I'm not sick, just not well. It's like I've got this tiny, mild, extra mild sinus infection that just, I don't know, makes me cough in that. Anyway, I'm fine. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Amanda came to my place. So she'd already stopped off at my parents' place, got, the, got my house keys. She got the Santa's piece. Then she went back to my parents' place and she moved everything from the boot of my car into her car. She had the Santa's piece and she'd already, like I said, she also picked up my pieces, which I did not deserve to be entered into the show. I told, I did not expect her to go up to Lower Portland or, or Maruta or anyway. To get those, she got those pieces and then she drove and she dropped off everybody's pieces into the Hawkesbury show, including mine. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And after all that, she was the one piece that wasn't entered into the show. Totally oh, unfair. Um, sorry. It's right. Amelia wanted to know what time she can come the earliest. Whenever. She can come now. Um, 
Oh, is this? It's a video. Come on. You guys want to see the birthday girl? I know. Hey, where is she? There she is. That's Gwen. Hi. She's 11. Stand that way. I don't want people to see my dirty clothes. <laughs> Can you believe she's 11? I think she was 8. 8 or 9 when we started doing the videos. And she's so tall. I'm not. I'm only like 5 foot. She's nearly as tall as me. Anyway, so, yeah, after all that, Amanda did all that and she still didn't get any of her pieces and it entered into the Hawkshire show. But I definitely owe her a dinner or, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. So we really appreciate it. And, you know, Kathy doesn't even know about it yet, but I'm sure she appreciates it as well. So, um, I got very lucky that they rang it. Uh, the, she said the reason why they extended the deadline was, um, they're like, because you had so many peoples to drop off the Vicks diets decided to extend so if it was just mine they would have said which is fair enough i missed the deadline they would have said no but because i was dropping off like four or five people so like like they said well, fine we'll extend it so thank you amanda thank you you have no idea how much i appreciate it i stuffed up oh but they're all in the show um i'll be going to the show to look at the cross stitches so i'll put up my next video and uh, you know what hopefully some of them will win even, even if people don't win it's not that it's that sorry i got the puppy bumping the pillow that the computer's Kevin's sitting on adorable you gotta um say hi. people will see them and these cross stitches so deserve to be seen they just they're, they're beautiful cross stitches so i can't wait for people to see them so that's that um i do have i'll put it at the end of this video um of the last cross stitch group of what people were working on and everything there. Uh, oh, and I've also got uh, part of that video. On that video, I will also have um, what Kathy's entering into the show. Uh, the Adams Family, Palomino Horse. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Oh, and there's another one. She is entering a third one that I can't remember, but it will be on the video. Shelley's entered two. The Santas won't be there because she dropped it off separately. She wasn't going to enter and then she changed her mind and entered. So, yay. And yay because it actually gets entered. And Shelly, the Santa. Oh, and me. Which was, I'm entering Clip Tree and Luna Mystica. Which, I haven't actually seen them framed. I've got, Wendy sent me photos but I haven't actually seen them. So, I was thinking of Amanda so much on Sunday. And then Sunday night I rang her and said, hey, just out of curiosity, how do my pieces look? Do they look okay? And she's like, oh, well, I never actually looked at them. <laughs> I said, I've got, no, she goes, um, so they, they look good. I've got the photos when she sent me, but it would have been, you know. Anyway, I'll see them at the show. I'll see them at the show. Anyway, so also I was uh, browsing on Facebook Marketplace and these two came up $20 each. These two came up for totally un- um, they're still all packaged, unopened, mint condition, $20 each. I already have this one. And there's this one. So, there's this. Um, and she was so nice. She, um, $20, uh, I paid for it, snapped them out, paid for them straight away. She sent them straight away and I literally got them the next day. How's that for awesome? Um, I also have... Legends of the Dragons! Yay! I Two copies of Legends of Spellcasters because I thought I had dragons so I bought Spellcasters again. And it turned out, no, I had Spellcasters. And I've been watching this one on eBay. And my husband uses my eBay account. Um, I got my eBay account back in... I just moved out to Brisbane in 2005. And... So Happy always just uses my eBay account, which is actually my eBay and my PayPal account, which actually I prefer because it's very easy to keep an eye on him and he's spending if he's just using my account because I get all the notifications for it. But anyway, so he was looking at it and going, you've had this on watch for ages, why don't you buy it? I'm like, well, you know, it's gonna, it's, I said, by the time you convert it all to Australian dollars, it's like a hundred dollars. Because no, I get it, I'm working at the gun club and um, I've been doing this second hobby job and... Anyway, he insisted, he insisted I buy it, and who am I to say no? So I got this. This is a present from Happy. Yay. So now I've got both of these, but he uh, said I have to do it, which is fair enough. 
He doesn't mind the spellcasters one, but he, he he likes this one a lot. So I have to do this one before I do the spellcasters one. Uh, Are these Starsh Unload? I want to say something I should not think. So I got these two off Aussie Stash and Load. They were only $10 each. So they're very pretty and I love them both. The only thing is, they're actually a triptych. So you've got these two sit on the end and then there's this middle one. The longer middle one in the middle. Someone else grabbed the middle one in the middle. <laughs> Someone had grabbed that one, but they didn't grab the two on the end. So, but I figure... These are still pretty by itself. So I've got these two. So they're really good. Uh, oh, this one was only $10. She's cute. A floss fairy. So pretty. And again, another Aussie Stash Unload. Uh, not Aussie Stash Unload. Facebook Marketplace. Go check these out. This $15. Complete. Uh, it has been opened, but it is fully, even the needle is in there. So, $15. And this is all Australian dollars too, people. So, that's really pretty. Not that I need more stuff to do, but anyway. And, of course, um, oh, oh, actually, I've got to show you this. I, I have to put a photo up. Um, last video I showed you guys, um, Pass a limited edition Passion Ricomo piece. And I'm trying to decide on fabric. And I've got my Fibrilicious Fabric of the Month. They get sent to Kim in Florida, America. Thank you, Kim. She saves us so much in shipping. Thank you. And and they always make it to us like I should not. Kim's very wonderful. She would never steal our fabric, but I think she's been tempted. I, I think sometimes there's a couple of times where maybe the post isn't that reliable. But I'll put a photo up of that piece and I was thinking that could go on this. The green isn't so... There is green in it, but it's not so um, quite that vibrant. Oh, maybe it is actually. Uh, dull it down just a touch. But I'm going to put the mermaid on this. And this is a linen. This is a 28, 28 count linen, plain, from Fibrilicious. So beautiful. Wood burning and cinders or something this is called. This is just gorgeous. Again, uh, 28 count linen. Isn't that just stunning? I mean, wow. Gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Oh. Don't know what I'm going to stitch on it. And there's one more. Last one. Last bit of haul. Oh, I can't remember what this one was called. Again, 28 count plain linen. But isn't that just... Beautiful. Oh. I still need to update and put my app and put these away. Aren't they just gorgeous? Um, so they're those. I'll put that picture up. And I feel like there was something else I had to tell you. So thank you to it. Thank you, Amanda. Really, thank you, Amanda. Not just... Like, yeah, I, I would have been a bit bummed if my pieces hadn't gone in, but my own fault, it happens. But the fact is... All those other people's pieces that I was responsible for and didn't enter, I was feeling so crap. And so, you know, I was just, thank you so much, so much, Amanda, for getting those other people's in there. And then I was not expecting you to go up to Wendy's, to drive all the way up to Wendy's and back and get my pieces and put them in. So I really do appreciate it. And, you know, part of me says, I owe you dinner, but I owe you dinner. I owe you fabric. Not the purple fabric, because that's mermaid's going to go on that one. But, you know, you can choose whatever piece of fabric you want, except for that one. <laughs> um, oh, actually, I have also worked on my Emerald Dragon. I might run out and get that. Thank God for editing, right? <laughs> uh, Emerald Dragon. Oh, maybe I... I feel like I've done a lot. Maybe I have. Uh, I'll have to see where I can find out where I was last time. <laughs> 
I'm uh, Gwen's having a couple of friends over today. I said she couldn't buy some friends over today for her birthday, so maybe one of her friends is just arriving. This is it here. I'll put up a, a picture. Uh, this is from the this is Rogue Dragon from the Nora Corbett Patreon. It's being stitched on Seraphim Fabrics Emerald Dragon Opal. It's a linen. I can't remember whether it's a 28 count or a 32 count. But that's that's popping up, so not a lot done on that. But I've been mostly working on um, those other three, um, especially my reindeers, because um, the reindeers I've had for ages, and working on one a year, kind of. I want to see him done. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that is. That's everything, but thank you, Amanda, again. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Every getting everybody's in, and extra, extra for getting mine in. You're an amazing person, and I will shout that out to the world. You are not just for doing that. You really are an amazing person, just in general. I'm very lucky to have you as a friend. I'm very lucky. Uh, that and Kim, thank you for using our post. I, I, you know, I met Kim. She was one of my very first subscribers and, you know, I always thought that when I started a YouTube channel, it was never about trying to um, get money because I have no intention of ever monetizing this channel or anything like that. It's it's not for that. I just wanted to, I guess, show people and share and if I could meet new people and make a new friend, hey, that would be great. And to, I have, so <laughs> it it's amazing. It's wonderful. And, you know, thank you so much. It's, you guys really are, yeah. All right, I'm going to go because otherwise I'm going to get all mushy. Um, I know like I am, I will add the video of the cross-stitch group of what people have worked on. Um, you can see Kathy's pieces in there. Oh, it's bugging me. I know. <laughs> out of this family, it's a horse and there's another piece there. I can't remember what it was. Um, and I'll take videos of everything at the Hawks we show so you can see everything that's been entered. Um, Amanda's already seen them uh, when she dropped off the pieces. She said, oh, she had a very nice chat to the vice president of the Hawks we show. Everything else was already up and on display. So she, she got to look for that. But the judging hadn't started yet. So, but that's all right. So she's actually seen all the pieces that have been entered already. So, all right. Anyway, I'm going to go. I mean, this is dragging on. All right, thank you, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and week and month and I will chat to you next week and next month. These seem to be going much better monthly. And yes. Bye.